Welcome back everybody, this is Liz Marino 300 speaking, I hope all of y'all enjoyed the previous video, I know I enjoyed making it for all of you. In the previous video, I did mention that we were going to do the side quest, but then I eventually went to upgrading characters. Although, I am going to say at the start of this video, I may be doing a lot more character grinding, or I may be doing, um, uh, side quests. I'm not exactly sure, and I forgot to change the title, I think this is supposed to be 50... 52? Yes. Right? Yes. Day? Yes. I think. Right. I still have not changed, <laughs> fixed up the things. Well, let's jump right into this one. Let me greet the chat. Hello and welcome. Make sure to follow. There we are. Uh, make sure to read and follow all the rules. Um, how's the explanation marks? Yeah. Let me sit a little bit more professional. There we are. Oh yes, we ended here. So I can pull the message. Oh yes. There we are. Let's go right into this. Never heard of him. <laughs> You've had a month of modification when all sub genre. You know. Competitive. Competitive. Nice interaction. Um, it's not letting me. There we are. Oh, so many things. It seems that this is no longer crashing a lot. Nice. Main reason I'm upgrading characters is for the um the new sim uh, simulated type of universe thing that's out. You know the longer uh, seven. This thing, uh, this thing here. One. This thing here. Ooh. Wait a minute. I might actually like this one. Right. I can tell you that. Uh, I have no idea what this stuff is. Yeah, what's up? Welcome! I am feeling a lot more happy today. Yes, the sound should be back to me no more. Delivery on level 4. Almost 52. Oh, almost 53. Right. Um, Character and stuff. Right, how far back behind is the stream? Let's take a look at this. Okay, so we we to click on to like the one, two, three, four, five, six. Five, 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 six seconds. That's okay. That much delay is reasonable. It's been so long. Although, like yesterday's delay of ten seconds is not. <laughs> but what's up, Zero? Welcome. Um, 70, 61, 70, 64, 70, 61, 66, and 
relics. HP. Come on. Fire damage. If we can find a HP version of there, then wait just a minute. What is it? Two minutes. And that's in your life. Wait, can I use support when in here? I'm just checking. I'm not going to do simulated universe because I've already done. I've already done the amount for however long it takes to refresh. Five days. I have unlocked world fire. I haven't even completed the. I haven't even completed this. Oh wait, I have. This. What's Okay, let me just see if I was to do that. No, I can't do. Sad. Um. We shall, we shall start with this one here. Hmm. <laughs> So, Wait, was that it? Okay. I guess I'm going fire. No. So I'm going fire yet. Wood and wood is best. Right? Oh, you. I don't want to speak into my um let my first language because it sounds like it works some other different languages and it can be offensive. I found out. Which is annoying. Do you admit Hold up. Hold up. So what about that, roommate? Well, let's resume this battle, shall we? Okay. Um, this here. The wind is rising. From the back. Ah, right here. Right. One more hit. And that's it. Reach the end of the story in the Oh yeah, it's a giant wobbly 
Well, um, yeah. Right. Uh, yes, over here. I don't think I am going the right way. I am going the real way. But not the right way. Okay, let me check how much more days I have remaining. What? What? Challenge? What? I can't. I I won't be able to get any of the things. All right, let's find the lost wobble boos. Um, over here. Well, I'm lucky. I have a hidden monster drink. So we recently ran out. Wait, are they all in this area? Oh yes. That's right. One more. I think they could be back here, I thought so. So yeah, we recently ran out of monster drinks, which I usually use to have my energy up. But currently don't have any, so now I have my emergency remaining one. Cheers. I'm currently having a drink. I know it's not a good drink. I'll be having a good drink after I finish this. I actually have a water right next to me as well. Two actually. Been drinking on it as well. Hold on. I know I can do it. Come on. Whatever. The rubber bird. Completed. Right. We have our quest completed. Fifty-three. Would you look at that? Go up to the patrol car and claim my things from Pom Pom. And also, let's see if Pom Pom needs our help with anything. Do we have a sad Pom Pom today? No, we do not. Traveling level. So look at that. Oh yes, I almost forgot at the start of every episode. We do this. Single draw. Let's see if we can get Dr. Ratio. Okay. Uh, probably gonna be a collapse in the sky. No, shattered home. That's okay. Uh, let me think, let me think, let me think, let me think, let me think. Yes, fired. This one here. Ooh, what are those? Where did the I am, but as per usual, I have, I have to do one per episode. That's like my thing. The thing I do a lot. Where to now? If you look back on any or every one of my videos, I always do one. So that's thirty a month minimum. But who knows how long I'm going to be? How long it's going to be until I'm back at this game? Okay. What kind of everyone character or good and uh, good character? Yes, that is right, but what if we don't have if the cat if the the game's not voted in that month, eh? I guess I'll have to do a special. Wait, what was I meant to do with it, huh? Oh, 
I got that right. Only take one... Uh... Okay, that, that's better, I guess, because... Colors is not my job. Save it. I have been, have I not? Have I not? Like, look at this. No. No, no. Let's exchange for one. I'm gonna first buy Sour Altar here. Um, I can buy fifteen. I can buy fifteen, and I at least get um two wishes per episode. Here we are. Um, you know what, bro? I need to hear this. No slang for me. Lane for me. Can I show Lane show? Okay, we found one or two. Here we
Stop signs. Nice. Speak, not haste. Segundo na vida de jogar fibra assim. Aqui, pois. Verdade. Acho que estou falando. Sounds like normal speech. Super satisfied when I'm hiding. No. Let's see if this incident actually fixes up. There's some incidents pending. That word doesn't seem right. So often, you know, synthesize the sad quest. Ooh, I'm I'm anticipating a lot then.
Sorry, Quest, you will have to wait a couple of seconds. Oh, I can actually have both of them up front, man. How's this? Speak, not haste. I'm fun to the thing. I might just go around buying everything. Yeah, take synthesize a hundred of them. It's okay. I'll turn the blind eye this time, mainly because I don't know what message you're talking about. I think I literally just started this quest. I can't delete. What are you talking about? I'm confused here. You know, majorly confused here. You can't delete your own message. I can delete my own messages. That's right. I can. Okay. I think you're trying to say you can't delete your own messages. is starting to play Call of Duty again. Sorry, everyone. I had to tell him I won't be able to come on. Oh, 
Hold on just a second. I just didn't know how to spell a word, that's all. Fire should Genshin impact adventure, right? Uh, mm. let's try. This is going to be really mad, but let's try. <laughs> don't mind me, I'm just trying to check. Because I don't remember. Sorry, the screen will have to go dark. Because I did sign out recently to go into my personal account. Doing before ended. I can't really. Um, yeah, yeah. That other one was just a special. There's a reason why it's dark right now. Because it is. Well, let's hope that game is loaded in then. Let's check my adventure rank level real quick. Man, yeah, that's loading up as you can see. Oh no. Just a man, something's crashing. Something's crashing. What's gonna crash? Oh. Oh man. Not an unexpected channel of events. Genshin crashed, by the way. So I was unable to check. It's taking up so much of my album. That's it. The real. I know. Uh, 
Let's see if I can find it. Hmm. Sorry everyone, it's just uh everything is getting overused. Way too much. Hmm. Oh well, I couldn't check. I'll probably I'll try and inform you after. Can you see me? Yes, I think you can. Yeah, you can. I can heal the frame up. Are you doing your snipers? Maybe a little bit later. Don't think I can. That other one was because I saw that Sealy thing. I got the wrong one anyway. So it looks like I'm going to be missing this next banner and events. That's okay. I understand that. But that isn't this game. It's not a game that isn't voted in. If it was, I'd be playing it. <laughs> but if it's the, if it's the next if it's next month's voted in game, then I shall be doing all the events, all the quests, trying to build up my characters, all of this stuff. But it's not this thing, it's not this month's in art uh, thing. Let's just hope. Let's just hope it's the next um thing. Then I shall do all the quests. Sorry about that. So if I do all the quests, it will be technically, I ha I'll probably, I'll acknowledge it as an actual episode because of how long it will be of doing the side quests and stuff. I'll have to acknowledge it as an actual episode. I didn't need to acknowledge the other one because it was under an hour. This is probably a chance to tell everyone. Join the Twitch and um, tell me what game you'd like to to be voted in next month. And if you do that, you'll be see if it gets enough votes, you'll be seeing that game in the next month. I believe it was this one. 
the engine, that would be this green one here. I'll read the modified. So this blue, this blue one here. There. Yeah, then that one's. I think so. Uh, this year they only exported one point um, million uh, dollars. Um, uh, someone's calling me. Uh, I haven't had this on stream happen before. Um, uh, I'm meant to respond. Calls don't last forever. Hold up, everyone. Okay, I'm back now. It was only a short form call. Don't want to get copyrighted or anything. Okay. Is that the game you're choosing? Okay. Yes, I'm back. That game you're choosing. Um, that will probably. You have voted for. You did vote for that game already. If I remember correct in your previous chat. And if you don't remember, I can. Pull up your entirety of chat log if you need. All messages. I am chat log. Yes, you did. Also, as I said, I see that you already chose that. Mm -hmm. That's somewhere like under the bridge. Circle around to the left. Going to the left. What are these number ones? What do you mean? What is that one? It's that one there. Are they going? It's this one here. But the first one from the left. The second one from the left. Or is that the second one from the left? Um, I uh, don't know which one. Can you tell me which one it is, please? Thank you. I'll be awaiting your answer.
Do you know which one it is yet? Um, yeah, I will be searching this up, and that's okay. Because I know it's this one, but I don't know what it is. West fire. Right, stars good. Okay, so it must go one, two, three. Okay. Okay. That is good. That is very, very good. Then I got it right. Um, the Senate view seems to be wrong. Oh, would you look at that? Like that? It says zero people are watching. But it says three people are watching. That is, um... Confusing. I probably need to go grab a cup of tea. Um, by the way, the call was about uh, po possibly a cousin that would be joining us today. One of my cousins. I have no idea what their account is. But they said they might join. Of the ten execute the Mara struck. Right, uh, support and go. No, that is good. Rules are made to be broken. broken. Right. That should eliminate it. Didn't. Okay, um. Perfect though. More struck heal. It's okay. Because... And now you can just die to this little child. Oh, yes, there's two. Forgot about that. I'll be a The ten will execute the Mara Strike. Mm -hmm. As easy as right. that. Um, you fire, you kill me. Oof. 14,000 damage. Not as much as the 90,000 damage and 100,000 damage I was doing before because of you. But yeah. Like, Moving them on the currency, no different than me. It's working. Right, so it's no doubt if I was Okay. I've never seen a competition level this for probably.
Blind driver in the land and should run. Maybe when I see the evidence, where's the will of law? Do you have any evidence to prove it? Dust. Ah. So, do you think we have this hard evidence? Let me take that Fighting? Do you admit this crime? These people shouldn't be that powerful. That's the second. This is our chance. Yeah, I can do this. Not powerful. Right here. And that should eliminate two of them. Never mind. That should eliminate the rest of them. Battle over. Although my health is dwindling a little bit low. A little bit low. A little bit low. Don't tell me. So it's good. What does it matter to you? Okay. Uh, okay. Okay, here we have another quest for right there. Shall I accept the quest? Yeah, probably. It's getting late. Where to now? <laughs> How long will the stream be? Uh, probably even another four hours. Because I have nothing planned for tomorrow. I don't have anything planned for tomorrow, so you might as well go for four hours. Is that okay with you? Oh no. Oh no. Alright, so let's just do that. Let's do that. Alright, try it again. Try it again. Wait, I should get my trumpet! Oh no, I lost my trumpet during customs. Darn. I need to go get my trumpet back. Oh well. Oh, 
Loud enough? Blast. So this is the Wait a minute. I actually should do something, so I don't know. Oh, this is going to be fun for you. Wait a minute. Oh, okay. Didn't pop up there. Uh -huh. I need to get that sound from the van. Yes, I have it on. No. No. What? Sound. Um, what's that? Is it Twitch? Oh, is it in my pens? It should be in my... Okay. Sorry everyone, I'm just trying to open the extension. You know the extension I can't help? Uh on the sound where is it? Extensions. Here it is. Uh my extensions. Uh, wow. Yeah. Hello. So, sound alerts. Here we are. It's loading up now. The thing I'm doing is a couple of them. I'm going to make it so it doesn't pop up, like on this part here. So you don't see it. Not so I don't see it. Like. For instance, the realistic knocking. Because if the, um... The, if I can see that the realistic knocking... Hmm. If the realistic knocking is there, then I... Will be not looking at my door. Well, that's what I did when my um when they um it's a door. I call in my cell, my alerts, realistic nothing. Um, I think it's sound. That's so then. Okay, um, does that work now? Should. Ah, uh, yeah, it doesn't pop up. Sounds so much like my door. There we are. Um. So I got lost in thought. Let's still let me to try and say anything. Wait a minute. Okay. 
about them. Get them. So that's just a lot more than Not working. That kind of work. Sorry, everyone. Just trying to figure out something. <laughs> this one about how the English works. And there we are. We have completed the quest by it. And with the things from what's <laughs> I with the quest fire, we are able to upgrade these here. Just a wee bit further. There we are. This one now. There we are. Seven. Nice. Um, Tracy's. Oh, yes. This thing. Which I can't do that. Well, I guess. Um, This one here. What about that one? I haven't seen anything. No. I've seen some of these quests around. This is what I'm doing then. It is a companion class. It is, so it's not a waste of time. Did I just... Oh, there's March. Just wandering about. Everything okay? Huh? Why is D-Ting talking to you? I've always been nice to cute little animals. I understand. All cute things in the world share a special connection after all. The first time we met D-Ting was during the Kafka hunt. I could tell there was a mysterious connection between us. Whenever he barked, I understood what he wanted to say. For example, woof woof, woof 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 woof. Meaning, hello dear, I found a strange thing at the port of Cloudford. You may want to come and have a look for yourself. Hey, enough with the passive aggression. 
The simple truth of the matter is that I can understand him. So what did Ding find at the port? Come on, let's go check it out. Let's see what you change that, man. Little Deeting says he's been dutifully searching for clues all over the Sienjo. He notified us as soon as he found something strange. So what does he want us to take a look at? Ah, character wasn't moving. Investigate. Ooh. Jay Trish is lying, lying on the ground. It's green light. This is Yang Xiang, retainer to General Jing Yuan. I'm in active pursuit of a fugitive. The situation is unpredictable and developing rapidly. So I planted this Jay Tracer to record my whereabouts in case I lose contact. If anyone finds this tracer, please take it to the seat of divine foresight so the Cloud Knights have the necessary intel to act swiftly. Ah, oh, so it's a recording device. Deeting must have heard its signal and called us over here to investigate. He looks about eight or nine years old, and he's already the general's retainer. The Sienjo oh. really does have some child prodigies, huh? Uh, given everything that's been happening on the Sienjo recently, I reckon the only fugitive worthy of a retainer's attention would be a Stellaron hunter. I wonder how he's getting along. Me too. Tip operation. Wow. Oh, oh, fucker. Oh, we can use him? Do we need to use him? You have to. Ice character. Okay. Confirm, but I will look at your details. See if I can level you up. Not even close. Uh, did I not just... There we are. Blade tracking entry. Traces run cold at Starskip Haven. Blade. I'll have to ask the Cloud Knights in the area if they saw anything. Shift the balance. Damage will... Captain, could you spare a moment? Yan Ching? Why are you all the way out here on the front lines? Shouldn't you be back at the seat of divine force? The general already has a lot on his plate. As his retainer, it's my duty to share the burden. Nothing new to report, I assume? Correct. After this blade escaped from the shackling prison, he disappeared into thin air. I wonder if he's even still on the ship. Or perhaps he had no intention of escaping in the first place. <sighs> What foul demons found their way across the stars to wreak havoc on the Lofu? Lu foul? Here to help the general eliminate Lofu. those demons. That pronunciation is that so? sounds wrong. I didn't receive any orders from the general. Um, uh, this is a covert operation. Then shall we dispatch a few knights for this operation of yours? I appreciate the gesture, but the fewer people who know about a covert operation, the better. Making a big show of it will only scare the snake deeper into the grass. A good hunter must operate alone. Dispatch a few knights. Huh. How incapable does he think I am? I might be young now, but just you wait. If the side crane hadn't been damaged, we could have extracted some footage. <sighs> That's no longer an option. There's something here.
Whoa. Perimeter is well guarded, but there are no traces of the fugitive passing through. It seems he has no intention of leaving the Lafu for the time being. Yeah. Guarding on the sit uh -huh. up on the ground. Yeah, from the sun chance to a lovely swell soon. Yeah. The Master Diviner is always boasting about her foresight. Didn't manage to foresee this disaster, did she? Yeah. None. The Skyfaring Commission really made a mess of this. Who knows if we'll ever find all these missing ships? Starskips are blocked from entering or exiting. There's no way the fugitive got through. But if he fled toward the interior of the ship, it'll be hard to track him down over such a vast area. Hmm, a fugitive would still have to rely on Starskips to travel between different delves. If we start hmm. by investigating the Starskip he stole, Maybe we can get a lead. Guess it's back to the docks again. Well. Oh. Okay. It looks like the influence of the Stellaron spirits is growing. Ooh. You could have surrendered. <sighs> I can't spend my weeks Sorry. there waiting. Dead. That seems very good. How do you? Ah, we got that yeah. Let's investigate. Playing dead? What a childish trick! Oh. <laughs> Ninja, look at that. It's time. Let's go. Yeah. Was that thing going to like ambush me? Well, I guess I'll never know. Oh, it actually goes in. But they do that. Oh, this? this kind of wound. Is not the work of a cloud knight. The best prey is one that leaves traces. Here, Di Ting, let's follow the scent. Well, let's go. Shift the balance. Did they kill him? Is that Blake? No, that's not Blake. Civilians are still getting attacked. Where are the cloud knight? Hey, don't panic. Okay, um... Strike the park. You could have surrendered. I'll uh, shut the covers. Right here. Um... Blade and Do you admit 
fight this crime? Shabu a triple yeah. hit? No, I'm never mind. Hit them in the wall. How many can you block? Strike with heart. Right, and now this one. Boom. Nice damage. Right here. Huh? They were on their feet a second ago. We fought them. Mm. Thank you for your assistance, young man. Just doing my job. The port has been sealed off. Why are you here alone? I came with a merchant ship. The shadows of old mm -hmm. friends have returned to my thoughts of late. I came to reunite with them and relive old times. Who would have imagined the Lofu could become such a dangerous place? There are some formidable foes. a time to visit, I'm afraid. There's been an incident. It won't take long for the general to fix it, though. This place isn't safe. We should head to the nearest Cloud Knight garrison. By the way, did you see a man with long hair and black clothes around here? Did you? You... you can't see? I, uh, apologies. I, I thought... You can't see. That's... Oh, I know this character. Yep. My name is Yun Ching. I'm registered with the Cloud Knights, and your name is? This is the one that people have been trying to glitch the the like thing off, and it has some Jing people has. Liu. Nice to meet you, um, Miss Jing Liu. Allow me to lead the way. We might have to take a bit of a detour, but I promise to get you to the Cloud Knight safely. Are oh, yeah. you? She following us? Where exactly are we? To the docks. Don't worry, you'll be safe. Hello there, welcome! So, are you from one of the other Sienjo ships? The Yao Qiang? Mm. The Fang Hu? I'm from the Song Chang. The Song Chang? There's a ship called the Song Chang? Why haven't I heard of it? Nice! Welcome! Miss Jing Liu. How long has it been since you last set foot on the La Fu? Um, Are you always do you have any questions for my coming to you? What's up, Q? Uh, just making conversation. I wanted you to know I was still here. <clears throat> Let's get going, miss. Careful. Got any questions for my channel? Hmm. Where do we go from How's here? the game going? Um... The game's going all right, I guess. Uh, recently upgraded my characters. We've got trouble to deal with first. Wait here a moment, Miss. I'll be right back. Um. Yeah, as I said, upgrading my characters. And that's basically it. I've gone up to this part, obviously. You've come at the perfect time, one. We could use your blood. Okay, that seems a bit weird. Oh, so run me. Question before you continue. Did you read all the rules? Huh, the general was right. There's a threat lurking on the Sien Joey. You are quite the sword master, young man. I have beaten it up to this part, I guess. I heard it. A sword whistles through the air and rings out upon contacting the enemy. Whilst invisible to the eye, such signals reveal the quality of one's sword play. As a musician listens to the notes of a song, so a poet listens to its rhyme. And in the f uh, <laughs> thanks, miss. However, your zealousness inhibits your ability to hide your line of attack. Uh-huh. Which causes your sword's song to become somewhat mumbled at well, the end. Well, if she was on the top of uh, the game, can't the Okay. Between music and sword she is. is real after all. No March 7th on the song. cover for me. He said my sword play was too proud and angular. 
He said it lacked the maturity required to win the title of Sword Champion. <laughs> Sword Champion? If I recall correctly, that title is bestowed on one who reaches the pinnacle of swordsmanship in the Cloud Knights. <laughs> but that was a long time ago. Right! Ever since the sedition of Imbibator Lune, the title of Sword Champion has gone unclaimed. But once everything settles down and the combat art ceremony returns, it's a title I'm determined to win. The Cloud Knights have many martial arts traditions. Who was it that instructed you in swordplay, young man? I see you're no stranger to the art. I won't keep you in suspense. My master is none other than General Jing Yuan of the Wafu. General. I know you haven't visited for a long time, but surely you've heard of General Jing Yuan. He says he has no affinity with the sword, that his skills are getting rusty. Well, if that's true, I never noticed from his training. All right, the coast is clear. Let's keep moving. Oh no. My typing's not working. Oh. Uh, the bright edge that can cut mm -hmm. jade, and the stars shift within it. A fine sword indeed. Um, I'm gonna watch this part here. So don't say anything up, up on this quest or after this quest, please. Because well, I haven't well done anything past it or on it. That will be greatly appreciated. The Starskiff Voyage Log can be accessed through the Dock Navigator Array. Right, let's get this done. That is, they have blockade if I remember correctly. Alright, shoot. Um... Is that unlocking them? No. Um. I don't understand. Supposed to get it there. Skiv, active star. This one goes past the Divination Commission and the Artisanship Commission. There we are. Push my bonus number. Okay. Well, my work here is finished. Now to make sure you get to a safe destination. Given the present circumstances, the Cloud Knight Garrison probably isn't a safe destination. Wouldn't you say? Probably Correct. right, yeah. So we're not going there. I'm taking you to the Shackling Prison. Safe, well guarded, plenty of food, and a place to sleep. Uh. Young man, if you wish to apprehend someone, shouldn't you have a reason? Suspicious behavior and half truths. Those alone are reason enough. You think you can fool me just because I'm a child? A sealed off port with a stranded passenger? Unlikely. Not to mention you walking the whole way here without so much as a stumble. You can see as well as I can. The biggest giveaway was your comment about my sword play. Correctly guessing the number of swords from the sound alone? <laughs> You'd have to be more than human. You're not blind at all, are you? I never claimed to be. You came up with that yourself. Uh... It's true. You're not, young man. 
I hold no grievance against you, and have never held ill intent towards the Sienjo. The black veil covering my eyes is merely proof of my resolve to never look back, to never fall again into Mara and destruction. I came here to catch one person. It's quite fortunate that our paths have crossed. The one you're looking for, is it Blade? <sighs> he goes by Blade nowadays. A fitting name for someone who dedicated his mind and body to the ways of the sword. Take me to him, young man. You are no match for me, and therefore, no match for Blade either. Let me accompany you. There is no need to throw your life away. <laughs> so We've not the even drawn the swords yet, and you declare yourself the winner? Yep. Let me offer you a word of advice. Don't underestimate me. As I can see, I was hoping to wanted... avoid a conflict with the Cloud Knights. How about this? Let's have ourselves a little contest. We can use the abominations that have One infested the life character. as target practice, and see whose sword can slay more and slay faster. And if I win? Then I will obediently follow you to the Shackling Prison and receive whatever judgment awaits me there. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll keep my end of the bargain. But if I win, you have to share Blade's whereabouts with me. May I get you to remember? A cloud Did you never read the rules? But in any case, you won't beat me. <laughs> I admire your confidence. But what was it you said earlier about declaring a winner before swords were drawn? It would seem we've cleared every abomination from the area. Let's find another location and continue our contest. We shall. Let's go back and check. May the best swordmaster win. This place is brimming with Mara, the perfect environment for honing one's skills. Surely slaying abominations doesn't count as gambling with official business? How do we tell who's won? We go from here to the end of the path without leaving a speck of abomination behind us. The first one to the end wins. Deal. Lead the way. What if you're just using this as a chance to escape? <laughs> Jing Yuan trained you, all right. Shift the balance. What? A new yeah. Yeah, I understand that, but still, it can be seen as fighting in the eyes of someone else. Blade and By the order of the Ten Lord, execute the Mara Struck! It's time! Um. I can't spend my wake span waiting. Okay, um Some here. These are devils. I'll crush them all. Okay. Right, this correct some misinformation. Okay, um if you do wanna um correct information or go with information stuff just go on the discord and then you can correct it all there if that's okay How many can you block? because then you can both see what each other was seeing if you send images wouldn't that be better wouldn't that be better where did she go shift the balance too slow, young man.
but how is that what kept you this time <gasps> you'll need to work harder otherwise you won't even catch me in a st I haven't had this much fun in a long time you gotta be kidding me and the boss uh a long time has passed since I wielded this sword. The heat of combat nearly cast me into the dark. Come, young man. I'll let you finish up. So I'll demanding. let you make three moves. Draw your sword. Don't you know it's rude to keep an elder waiting? Hesitant. Weak. What happened to that confidence of yours? Makes My three moon. Once you draw your sword, you must strike down your adversary in one blow without turning back. Jing Yuan taught you how to slay abominations. But did he ever teach you how to deal with the Mara struck? The answer is, there is no difference. The sword pierces the body and severs its life. If this sword came for your throat, would you be able to do enough? Try harder. I slayed one, she slayed three. Your final move was the only one that didn't disappoint. I... I lost? <sighs> Our contest has not yet come to a conclusion. For I have yet to make my final move. And the field has no opponent. Unsheathing this sword without merit is to blaspheme the divine will of the Rainbow Arbiter Ooh. and invite calamity. Rainbow Arbiter. You, even with your strength, if you were to cross paths with Blade, it would mean death for you. Unless I do a combat I cycle. I can give you a more dignified end than dying at his hands. To die as a swordmaster. Having witnessed the perfection of my technique, refined a thousand times over. What say you? <laughs> you have courage. Um, <laughs> ah. Yes, is it okay? Yes. So many different. I didn't know this was gonna happen. I, I depleted it. I'll take those records you found. Thank you, young man. 
throat. That move was a token of my appreciation. We were fated to meet this day, and in days to come. <sighs> this mysterious woman also wants to find the whereabouts of Blade. <sighs> okay. No. No, no matter what she wants to do, be the she must not be allowed to get to him first. I have to pick up the pace. There's got to be some use. Sorry, I would have been a man I was trying to fix something. Would I accidentally change my settings? I did too. There we are. That information is much better. No, no matter what she wants to do with the fugitive, she must not be allowed to get to him first. I have to pick up the pace. There we are. And that's the end? There's nothing else in the operations log? Wow. Uh, that Jing Liu seems pretty dangerous. Uh, the Stellaron crisis sure has attracted a lot of strange people to the La Fu. Shouldn't we hand this over to Ching Yuan as soon as possible? <laughs> Jade Tracer. Right, so. Sorry everyone, I'm just checking my messages. Sorry about that, everyone. Um, um, I did not know that this quest would be so expensive. I literally just walked up to the, um, the dog and I was like, Hey, what's up? And the dog was like, I'm going to bring you on a giant quest line. It's getting late. Where to now? Speed, not haste. Fast. Fast, 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 fast. What is your purpose for entering? Hmm. Yeah, I know. I know the companion quest along. That's why I'm dedicating an entire four hour stream to doing them. Can you wait a little moment? The Master Diviner will be here soon. She's temporarily taken on the General's responsibilities. Before meeting you, she must make the current situation known and fortify public spirit. This is her first real test as a General. I hope she can get used to things quickly. I don't think I can ever get used to this. It's a pleasure to see you all here today. 
collating casualties and losses. Dispatching forces to round up the remnants of the Disciples. Submitting battle reports to the Six Charioteers. Now I know what Jing Yuan meant when he said, The highest throne faces the strongest wins. Generalship is no trifling matter. It is a duty one must bear. Oh, I think she actually really enjoys it. Master Diviner, have you summoned us here just to sigh and complain? Of course not. On the contrary. I am eager to thank you all in my official capacity as Acting General of the Law Fu. Now that things have drawn to a conclusion, it is time to reward you. Ooh, all those benefits that the General promised! They're finally here! Yippee! Seriously? Yes. The Astral Express has braved great evil for the Law Fu. Your devotion is evident. After discussions with the Six Charioteers, you are henceforth sworn allies of the Law Fu. Yes. Within the Law Fu's jurisdiction, <laughs> You are to be treated with the highest standard of diplomatic protocol. Yes. On behalf of the Astral Express, I would like to thank you, Master Diviner. Oh, wow. Nothing tangible then? Uh, but at least it sounds pretty cool. We're gonna get high respect. That's cool enough. Respect is key. Because if we just have the uh, heroic items but no respect, yeah. Now that things have been expressed, I still have something to discuss with you. Please, this way. Right here, let's get going. Let's see if there's any screenshotable moments. Not yet. This is really Okay. Um, got a message here saying, if there is any action that's considered as considering considered as fighting or violating the rules, um, make, I'll make them stop. If they're starting at first, um, my mod will make it will make you stop. No, so no initiating any anything fighting. Thank you very much for your cooperation. Without a doubt. He took on the charge of pursuing a major criminal. It is not my place to impede him for fear of his well-being. That is the nature of the Cloud Knights and their duty. I do have confidence in him, though. Hugh... Already accessed the recordings? Uh, she accidentally pressed a button. No harm done. She was my mentor and my superior when I was a member of the Cloud Knights. However, she left the Sienjo a long time ago. If so. you see her, be sure to keep your distance and notify me immediately. As we already know, she's already dangerous. Forgive Very me, dangerous. But I cannot disclose this information. In your opinion, considering as that to you, yes. If I consider it again for your help, fighting, then express. yeah, that the situation then, yes, remains I will, I will notify. So I hope to be able to drink and talk freely with you once again, when everything is settled. Nice. Completed. There's a verification. Nice. And I'm contained. Blade Aqua. 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 Aqua.
on that aggregate and put and put to and put in that uh agra and probabja agra I'm just embarrassing myself by this point. Um, and um, so it's a abracadab, abracadab, and it's annoying. Um, Jin Yan and Jin Moon have a lovely lore from a while ago. Nice. Also, Zero, I will I, I will leave it to you to deem if anything is spoilers, because yes, because well, you already know what happens after this, after everything. So I will leave it to you to deem if anything is spoilers. I don't believe that's a spoiler because that's just law. Law is law. I, I. I, out at the divination I, I can't say That's that word. Decision. I don't know if I can do it. You see nothing. And the bird got after the. Uh, should be around here uh, somewhere. Ever played Pokemon? Yes, I played Pokemon up until a bit after the the moon and sun. A bit after that, I played on the old DS. So a bit after that, uh, I know Abra. Abra, <laughs> but no. I don't. It's floating. I'm fudged. Hi there. Uh, I what? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Just a second, I'll meet up for like however the duration of this video is. Thank you. I think I have it. Abracadabra. Don't mind me. I think I have it. Abracadabra. No, 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 no. Here as it does to you and I, there are myriad possibilities of overlapping one another, representing the yes consequences of different choices, and in every passing moment, an infinite number of choices converge on the same point and become the present, and then become the past. Although I will probably revert back to not being able to say it again because I do speak to myself a lot in the other language I know. Which I don't want to speak on stream because I can say things that's spent offensive in other languages that I didn't know I was saying things offensively in until I went out in public and was mumbling to myself. And I just got slapped. Then I got told I did something, I said something very bad. So, yes. So, was this your choice? To respond to my request for help? First off, no. If I wanted to get a screenshot. That'd be better. Mm. Yep. It sounded like King would see me. I do. Blade is in a prickly situation. 
On the Sienjo, you're the only one I can turn to. Hmm. Being stricken with Mara is the inescapable destiny of the long life species. It is a madness triggered by the accumulation of emotions and memories. Blade doesn't remember much, but the Mara still haunts him in some form. After we arrived on the Sienjo, the Mara in him flared up so violently that even my spirit whisper couldn't suppress it. He's not fit for interstellar travel in this state. My plan is to use Spirit Whisper to temporarily seal the Mara by reducing its potency. I need to focus all my concentration, so I'll be vulnerable for some time. I need you to protect me while I suppress Blade. Uh, can I just chip mm -hmm. I know when danger will come and what form it will take. Don't worry. Together we can do this. No harm will come to you. Uh, okay. Okay, yep. Yeah. Thumbs up. Actually, no. Let me, let me see if I if they have close to this. No, they don't. Mm. Oh well. Now, there are wandering monsters nearby. They'll spell trouble if we let them hang around. Go take care of them. Your victory is certain. Dab for rock. Yes, I got it right. I got it right. I got it right. Yay. Yes, 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 yes. I got it right. Yes. Yes, yes, I got the word right. Rules are made to be broken. I feel incredibly slow. The wind is rising. Bolt! From the boat! <laughs> Let's make it quick. I can do this! Do you admit this crime? By the order of the to execute the Mara struck! What was that a spoil? Reach the end of the story in your own way. It did? I didn't know. So I shouldn't be Without the wind, you can be good fire. It's time. All about the recording. There we are. Okay, sorry about that, everyone. But first off, that one shall go down. What is that, anyway? Well, my one of my mod, my mod deemed it a spoiler, so... Yeah. I guess it'll be deemed as a spoiler. Spirit never dies. You can 
Where's the signal all the way down there? Right. Speak, not haste. There we go. Like a time. It's good to open my eyes and see you back here. <laughs> Inevitably so. Yes. I've weakened Blade's senses to the outside world so that he's only able to hear my voice and feel my touch. He's oblivious to everything else. I'm going to transfer his consciousness away from the Sienjo and cleanse his memories of Jing Yuan, Jing Liao, In Sing, and your friend, Don Hong. Again, this process mustn't be interrupted, but I can answer questions before I begin. Yes, as compensation for helping me. You don't have any questions? I put you into a deep sleep and then reawakened you, abandoned you at the space station, then lured you to the Sienjo. I owe you an explanation or two. Don't you want to know? I couldn't care less. <laughs> Law or no law? Oh, don't rush. We still have one rolled up. Let's play truth. It's a game I play with Silverwolf all the time. Kind of psychological. Both sides ask each other two, two questions, questions. Then give one true two answer questions. and one false answer each. So, one of my answers will be true, the other will be false. As for which is which, that's up to the asker to make the call. We don't have much time. Let's do two rounds to start. You ask me two questions, and you'll also have to answer two of mine. But no, one, two, one, one. Oh, that's not allowed. The game only works when both sides follow the rules, and I'll be none the wiser if you break them. Is she being palsy? Guide. But I give you my word. I will abide by the rule of one truth, one lie. I'll Ooh. go first to give you a demo. Oh, don't be nervous. The first question is quite trivial. You can tell the truth or tell a lie. It's the second question where the game gets interesting. My first question is, what do you think about me? Huh? What do I think about Kavka? How should I answer? If I tell the truth, I have to lie the next time and vice versa. Or I could just cheat. Is that really an option? If I tell a lie this time, I'll have to tell the truth next time. Technically, all of these can be not top one. <laughs> and there you have it. It's a pretty simple game. <laughs> You're hiding your feelings well. 
Uh, I'm afraid we'll have to put our game of truth and lies on pause. The Cloud Knights are here. I need you to help me get rid of them. I'm out of time. That won't work. Nope, this conflict is inevitable. It's destiny. Nice. So we're going to kill people that we literally just got told that they're going to be paying high respects to me for. Hey, stop. Mm -hmm. Don't keep it. I waste my Yay! Let's get him. Let's get him, boy. Are made to be broken. Do you admit this crime? This is our chance. I'm gonna hold everyone back again. The wind is rising. From the boat. By the order of the execute the Mara strike. You could have surrendered. And there we go. Not the machine, that is. Reach the end of the story in your uh, own. Ah, yes. <laughs> the eyes are still That's open. That's Blade. Kafka says he's Mars. See, the future always seems like infinite possibilities, but what is destined to happen will always happen. This conflict is inevitable because the other possibilities don't exist. It's just like the casinos, the house always eventually wins. I need to use the spirit whisper on Blade again, but let's play another round first. Have you thought of your question? Come to me when you're ready. Well, I can't actually type the in a question. The game continues. Your turn. So I get two questions, only one of which Kafka will answer truthfully. But I won't know which answer is which. What should I ask? When I came to on the space station, I remember seeing Kafka. But everything before that is a blur. Shouldn't I ask about my past? Because you were created for that purpose. Your body has been transformed by the power of an eon. You are immune to Stellaron contamination. I believe that one Therefore, is actually true. You could say that you are a one-of-a-kind Stellaron vessel. <sighs> no matter what she says, she looks like she's got something up her sleeve. I can't tell what's true and what isn't. I see the look on your face. Don't bother asking. I can't tell you if an answer is true or not. Make your best guess and choose your next question based on my answer. That's the beauty of the game. I hope your next question proves interesting. The rules of this game are like reality. We all think we have infinite possibilities, but when you really analyze it, you could count them on your fingers. Every question and answer is constrained by previous choices. The future is like a labyrinth. Every divergence is merely an inducement. There is only one real path. Do I sound that negative? <laughs> no. We believe that existence has meaning, but that meaning is bestowed by ourselves, not by choices. Hey everyone, there might be a slight chance that I need to put my um, call someone or help them through a step-by-step -step process on how to set up Twitch. Because they don't know how. If you don't believe me, try it for yourself. Soon we will face another battle. Can you change that possibility? Like that. Change the future to confront the battle from happening. That was. 
How? How would I do that? Um. I'm sure. the second time you've evaded the possibility of a battle you really do want to change my prediction don't you wait what is this link what did you just clip what did you just clip just a second Thank you for that. That would be very interesting. But the future is still clear. The real test lies ahead. The young sword master of the Cloud Knights. He will not be an easy foe. <laughs> Until then, let's continue our game. It's my turn again. <laughs> Second question. Do you want to see me again? What kind of question is that? Will we see each other again? She'd know the answer, the answer to that one. As for whether I want to, seems obvious to me. 
I guess I do want to see her again. So, my answer is... <laughs> Mischievous look. Perfect. Ah, perfect. Perfect. A good, a good piece of clip. Yes, it would definitely make people watch the entire stream. Okay, I'm done asking. What a surprise! I can't see through you. Partly. For me, the truth, or lack thereof, is not what matters in this game. Well, it's your turn to ask a question. Come see me when you're ready. How do I do that? <laughs> I don't know how to do YouTube stuff. Should you get you short? This is your last question. Surprise me. I don't know if Kafka was telling the truth in the previous question. Well, she was. But one thing's certain. For this question, She'll have to answer according to the rule. Should I venture into a whole new topic? When I came to on the space station, I remember seeing Kafka. But everything before that is a blur. Shouldn't I? Mm. Genetically speaking, you are my child. A quarter of the data that makes up your body comes from me. Of course, neither Silverwolf, Blady, nor Sam are well-suited for looking after a child. Don't worry, I'm just dead over here. Excuse me. What? I'm... So technically, interesting. No. That's all. So we at the top of the head. Very interesting. So technically, this is my mother. Cool time. I'm guessing the other 75% is, um, uh, Stella Ron? Excuse me. What? Okay. Okay. Let's sit back down and let's continue. So the burden of mentoring you fell on me. It was a stressful job, and I dumped you on the train as soon as I got the chance. <laughs> no, I... Well. Stellaron hunters. The general was merciful enough to let you live. Uh, uh, why are you here? Because she was struck by my spirit whisper. Thank you. That, that will come in useful. My powers of suggestion are capable of convincing people to accept my orders. All without a second thought. Defeat this little boy and your mission is over. God, you witch! Okay, that that's a good cover. Thank you for that. <laughs> My characters are gonna die. Get me. None of them are that. Found that. Let's go. Teams or devils? I'll crush them all. Rules are made to be broken. Punish evil. By the order of the Ten Lords! Execute the that. Mara Struck! <laughs> Just a Do you admit this crime? Yeah. 
Yes, I understand. You're all in on it. Out of moves. You can't hurt me. You scared? Stay put. Give me strength. It's time. The wind is rising. Both. From the boat. Let me cast. Give me strength. You can punish evil. It's time. Let's go. Yeah. You're all in. You can't hurt me. I'm just warm enough. The wind is rising. Boat. From the boat! By the order of the execute, the Mara struck! This is our chance. I'm gonna hold everyone back again! I failed. Yes. Very good. If it weren't for you, that kid would have had me and Blade in the shackling prison in no time. Nice. Of course, Sam and Silver Wolf would have broken us out, but Blady would have been gravely injured, and our relationship with the Sienjo would have been damaged beyond repair. <laughs> if possible, I'd like to avoid that kind of future at all costs. Can I leave now? Yes. The Mara in you is temporarily suppressed. So long as you avoid overstimulation and familiar faces, you shouldn't have a problem. Wait. You're not leaving? I am sorry, Kafka. There is a person. A person to whom I am greatly indebted. 
I must see them. This is all nice. Then it's in your hands. Elio didn't say anything about what happens next. Thank you for coming to my aid. I appreciate it. Our paths will cross again. But I probably won't be making that much YouTube shorts because of why. Yeah. I remember you. Well, I don't remember you. You once followed Kafka, didn't you? There was a time when she was on a mission. You were next to her. I've yet to see anyone follow her for as long as you did, and live to tell the tale. Life. Hmm. Every yeah. Stellaron hunter has a deal with Elio. I do not know the nature of those deals, but I do know that Kafka and I agreed to take orders from Elio. She must have sought something extraordinary. Everything she does comes at a great cost. She will have done many things to keep you alive until now, young one. Technically speaking, I'm like two months old in this game. A lot less, maybe. Three, but... Hunter Intuition. Choose to help Kafka. So there's obviously one way you can choose not to help her. Do I? There's seven dimension. What's in this? Two friction notes. So you just officially. So you just officially cast her daughter, I believe. Like. Where to now? Yeah, I believe. I don't believe that I am a one in a, a one of a kind um Stellaron person, because there has to be multiple different people in the past. But she could have been lying. She could have not obeyed. Household registration always takes forever. Ah, no, it's... Seven clips were made in the... Uh huh? Excuse me, what? Seven so far? Um... La 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 la, excuse me? How? How do I check? I'll be able to check after the stream. What? No. Oh, so you are. These head. would be Miss March 7th and Mr. Yang, I presume. Well, she will have to do everything to keep your life. Well, maybe because of... To sum it up, we're the main character. She needs us for the final boss. That's probably the most correct answer. Did it give him any? <laughs> That's right. I'm the first one. He's the second. We're here to help. Marge, try not to sound too excited. We're here for work, remember? Oh, you're the I'd one. Be excited, excited for what? Oh, my first detective case. Finally, my intelligence and wisdom have a chance to shine. Fails every single little nook and cranny. <laughs> Miss March, Mr. Yang. I've been looking forward to meeting you. Make yourselves comfortable. It, one moment, please. Jing Yan, give me the photos. Um, slavery. Coming, coming! Stop yelling. Raising your hands over the scroll. Uh, thanks for waiting. These are the outworld uh, travelers who were sighted in the location specified by the general and the master diviner. This was two days before the Ambrosial Arbor came back to life. We'd like you to take a look. Do you recognize any of them as a threat? Let me take a look. 
Hmm, so these are the suspects. Uh-huh. Hmm. I see. Mm, ah, mm, mm, I see. Uh. Whoa. Um. What's wrong, Mr. Yang? See anything fishy? Just a moment, everyone. Hmm. What shall I do for this film? Um. Hmm. That should be good. Sorry about that. Who's he? I'd like to see more information on him. Which one? Let me see. I don't have any concrete evidence, but I think he's worth checking out. Oh, him? I remember him. He's a traveling merchant. He trades throughout the universe. Knows a thing or two about remedial arts, too. He registered himself on the Xianzhou as... Uh, what was it again? Lo Cha. His name is Lo Cha. I think I remember that That's name. right, Law Cha. He came to the Xianzhou with a huge box this time. Some sort of funerary contraption. All right, I'll see you in a moment. A funny name. Something to do with coughing. It was pretty conspicuous. I had to ask him about it. A coffin. It's a tool that certain non-Xianzhou travelers seem to use in death rites. I'm guessing our guests here might recognize it. Huh. I swear he said coughing. Anyway, we checked him out. His record on the Sienjo is squeaky clean. As for this caffeine thing... Coffin. Yeah, yeah. Either way, it definitely had something to do with funerals. There are lots of travelers on the Lafu, each with their own star system and death rites. I guess that must be Loch's line of work. Is there something up with him? Not necessarily, but I have my reasons for wanting to investigate. What was he doing in the days leading up to the Ambrosial Arbor's resurrection? Hmm. That's complicated. Come with me to the Four Square Mirror. It'll be easier to explain. The Four Square Mirror. I have never heard of an any different mirror. Unless the oval ones or the circle ones, but it's a mirror. It's a... <laughs> like... Seriously? Exalting Sanctum is one of the Lafu's crucial central cities. The higher-ups are very concerned about security issues here. That's why there are so many Psychranes stationed in the area. Lacha arrived on the Lafu a few days prior to the Ambrosial Arbor's resurrection. Up until the day before the resurrection, there was nothing suspicious about his behavior. Oh, I figured it out! The day before the resurrection, he appeared near the Ambrosial Arbor with a Stellaron! Oh, yeah, I guess. You're pretty smart. Sometimes. <laughs> you lot are enthusiastic, I'll give you that. The reason I mentioned the day before the resurrection is because we have no idea what he did that day. The resurrection brought about unusual yin-yang phenomena that caused the entire Psycrane system to malfunction. The image data from the day of the incident is beyond restoration data from that day before was badly affected. We will, in due course. But we can't be too general. Specific questions are key. Not to mention, without a clear suspicion, it would involve multiple interrogations. So, if you feel this Lacha is suspicious in some way, make it known. Then I can arrange for his detention and interrog- How should I put this? He just looks kind of... Uh, Mr. Yang, you were going off of his appearance this whole time? I thought you had some super secret thing up your sleeve. Uh, didn't your mom ever tell you not to judge a book by its... It's like... 
a... Where's this anger coming from? Sorry. What I mean is... <clears throat> it's difficult to explain, but... Apologies. Uh, I realize this is personal speculation. That's all right. Instinct is an important part of any Realm Keeping Commission investigation. There are times when my gut tells me something's not right, and there's usually a reason for it. I'm with you, Wong. Be that as it may, as an official, I can't go bringing someone in based on a villainous appearance. Because if a complaint led to his dismissal, it would leave a blemish on his resume, making it difficult for him to advance his career for the next few centuries. Precise no! What are you talking about? <sighs> anyway, if you want to investigate, I can grant you access to the Foursquare Mirror. Jing Yan, you'll be assisting our esteemed guests in their investigation. Foursquare Mirror. I never heard of such other things. Uh, isn't it inappropriate for an officer of the Realm Keeping Commission to assist the public in investigating someone? Technically, we're not the public. Ah, not at all. Make sure you don't leave the commission. Just help them check the Cycrene footage. Keep me updated on progress. If you find hard evidence, I'll be there in a flash. We're thankful that you're entrusting this to us. We'll keep it by the book. Don't worry. The express crew keeps its prompt. <sighs> Jing Yen, over to you. Understood. This might take you some time. Come and find me when you're ready. Might take me some time. Uh, you know what? Let's go. Take some time. Let's take two hours. Let's not take two hours. I can bring up the data any time from here. All right. Follow. To the full square mirror. As official mm -hmm. Dahao mentioned, the arbor caused unusual yin yang phenomena, which affected the entire Cycrene system. We lost a lot of video footage, and for the image data we recovered, the timestamps are all jumbled up. Look. This is Mr. Locha on the day prior to the resurrection. <sighs> so we have to clean up and reorder the footage ourselves? Exactly. Thank you again for your help. So it's like editing a video. Yeah, this is your a corrupted content. video. Over to you. <laughs> I knew we could rely on you. Small room. Okay, that's out of small room. That's that other there. I believe that's first. Simply. First, second. Oh, we would be that one when he buys a book. And second, when he leaves the hotel. He's there. The hotel. Oh, there's a book. Don't mind, thank you. Let me see if this order works. Hmm. Wucha exits the star skiff, enters Exalting Sanctum, goes into an inn, and puts down his luggage, including the coffin. Then he goes to Spare Time Bookshop, but doesn't buy anything. Finally, he leaves and turns a corner into a dark alley. The logic in this is sound. Looks like the correct order. Nice work. Hey. Ah, nice work indeed. Your sidekick to a genius detective. Where does this corner lead to? I remember correctly. Okay. I checked the map and found a gate in this open area. Look, there's a small dock on the other side. He may have left on a star skiff. Why would he leave Exalting Sanctum via a secluded dock? That's so suspicious. I don't think Mr. Lorcha could have departed from there. The dock you're referring to is Yun Shou Crag 999, 
It belongs to the seat of divine foresight. It's only used during invasions. That's why that gate is almost always locked. As far as I know, it's been locked for centuries and only gets opened for occasional inspection. The key question is, when did he leave? There's only one gate in this area, at least on the map. Miss Jingyan, does the remaining footage show anyone else entering or leaving this place? I can find out, but you'll have to wait a while. Most of the footage was lost, but at least there was a whole day of recording. There's a lot that needs checking and confirming first. Hmm. Understood. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks so much! We'll be waiting! Patiently! Your assistance in this matter is what requires gratitude. I'll get you what you need as soon as possible. Thank you. Thanks for waiting. I checked that all the footage we have of the open area. I say all. A lot of it was lost. Are the corrupted parts recoverable? Can we use the same methods again? Sure, some of them maybe. But I can't guarantee anything. I'll do my best, of course. It'll take more time. I can't hand them over just now. Thank you. Did you find anything in the remaining footage worth paying attention to? Hmm. Only that someone left the area through that exit around two hours after Locha's appearance here. Locha's nowhere to be seen, though. Uh-huh. Isn't this a scene from the Angler Mystery? Shush, you're being annoying. I'm not kidding. This is straight out of the book. Now that you mention it. Uh, I'm not sure I follow. Uh, the Angler's origin story, of course. He's a healer from the Alchemy Commission who gets on the wrong side of a mysterious organization called the Tea Society. Two agents in dark clothing wait for him to be alone and then poison him. The drug has the same de-aging effect as the Vidyatara's hatching rebirth. The angler gets younger and turns back into a child. From there on out, the angler pursues the tea society while solving all kinds of strange cases. It wouldn't. In the book, the drug only de-ages the body. It can't repair damage to the soul. In other words, it's like molting, not a true rebirth. Hatching rebirths are specific to the Vidyadara. Can humans also experience de-aging? Uh, it's just a novel. Who knows if something like that could happen in reality? I thought of it as soon as I saw this footage, though. Su Fang, the author, was a medical assistant in the Alchemy Commission. The medical principles of the novel are strictly grounded in reality. True. Oh. If someone from the Alchemy Commission was suggesting it could be done, then there's always a possibility. So, March, what you mean is, the two people in dark clothing are Tea Society agents, and the child is... a de-aged Locha? <gasps> what if a crazy angler mystery fan decided to commit a copycat crime? Locha gets turned into a child, then follows a mysterious duo in black. Oh, the plot thickens. This could be a kidnapping. I don't know. The child in the footage has black hair. Locha's hair is blonde. Hmm. Maybe he dyed his hair. Hold your horses, everyone. I recognize this child now. That's Yinshu, the young shopkeeper at Spare Time Bookshop. Oh, no. Too bad, March. No de aging, no ang. Uh, 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 Detective's initial conjectures are bound to be wrong. <laughs> totally expected. The Psycranes weren't able to get a clear look at the two people in dark clothing. Let's ask Yinshu. Maybe she saw something. I'll keep trying to recover the lost footage. I'll contact you if there's a breakthrough. All right, let's go. Time to interview the witness. He's getting way too excited. Household registration always.
She's gonna be missing. She's gonna be missing. She's gonna be missing. Thought so. See the shopkeeper. Uh, let's look for her in the area. Business hours aren't over yet. She should be nearby. You two go ahead. I'll wait here in case she comes back. Okay, let's go. Wait, so you're still reading traditional literature? Move on already! Uh, so she asked someone to look after the shop for her. But where are... Uh, looks like Yin Shu isn't here after all. Huh? A Supernatural Tales anthology? Uh, hey, mister! Are you manning the counter for the young shopkeeper of... Huh? <laughs> young shopkeeper? You mean Yang Shu? <laughs> yeah, I am. Welcome Something back. Something wrong? Um, can you please tell us where she is? <laughs> Why should I? Uh, because we're asking nicely. <laughs> I can tell you. If you pay me for uh, Pay you? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Come on. No one ever tell you that information? Uh, this guy doesn't seem like the... Oh. You... The question is... <laughs> the... Ex Dang it. Am I in trouble? Ugh, better to live and find another day. Ugh, forget it. I'm not stooping to your level. Inchu said she had a voucher for a food stall over an exalting sanctum. She wanted to use it before it expired. You know, she's not been gone long. Probably finishing up her food right now. Hmph, about time you saw... Wait, were they incriminating things against me? I was so it's just this way it's It's incriminating towards me. Okay. Are you Yenshu? The sh yeah, that's me. Can I help you? You're heading back to the store, right? Let's w Oh, uh, okay. Let's go. That footage, I remember that day. After I closed up the store, I walked around for a while. I was looking for a place to read. I found that empty area. It seems like a good reading spot at first, but then I noticed two people dressed in dark clothing and a blonde outworlder hanging around. Something didn't feel right. So I left. Those two people left the same way I did. So you just happened to be going the same way. Did you see what the Outworlder was? Mm, sorry, I was only trying to find a place to read. I didn't pay much attention to him. Or the two in dark clothing. All I remember is the two people in dark clothing... Uh, they smell pretty bad. I guess that's not much of a clue. Sorry, I can't give you any useful information. On the contrary, any information you can give is valuable. Thank you very much. Still, according to the Psycrane recordings, Rocha's final stop before heading towards the open area was your store. My store? Spare time bookshop? You're sure he came to... Oh, that's right. I remember now he did pay a visit. Oh, how could I forget? He came in, looked at a few titles, and then handed one to me. An old paperback. Everything seemed normal, but after paying for it, he immediately tore off the title page. I was shocked, but he was grinning ear to ear, so I didn't dare ask him about it. Uh. After that, he just left the book on the counter and went on his way. I can't believe I'd forget something like that. I guess the Ambrosial Arbor's resurrection the day after pushed everything else to the back of my mind. So, what was the book? The Angler Mystery. I was wondering what to do about it. I can't sell a book without a title page. 
But uh, since you asked about it, here, you can have it. Mm, nice. Uh, Mr. Yang's instinct was right all along. Lo Cha is a villain. How could he do this? Tearing up a book is well written. If I knew the answer to that, wouldn't that make me as evil as him? Let's not get ahead of ourselves. We're forgetting that the Realm Keeping Commission was initially investigating whether someone brought a dangerous object onto the Law Fu. Da Hao and the others are probably not aware of what that dangerous object might be, but we know for a fact that it's the Stellaron. I think that by removing the page, Law Cha may have provided us with a key piece of the puzzle. I don't understand. What does tearing out a page have to do with... Exactly. I think Law Cha may have friends on the Law Fu, and they're using the title page to communicate. Uh, that makes him even worse! How dare he use a book that praises justice for his evil plan! I'm afraid evil plans are still within the realm of speculation at this stage. We have no way of knowing exactly what he did because the Psycrane data was lost. So, is this a dead end? Right, so there. Oh, yeah. Be careful, uh, more like it. New clues are Be careful. What am I going to find that? I tried it, it's not incriminating actually. We now know what time Lord Cha left the open area. Nice! You found footage of him leaving? Yes. According to the Psycrane recordings, he left the area two hours after he entered. Uh, strange. Why spend two hours in such a confined area? He must have been up to something. Nah. Maybe he spent all his money on Star Taro bubble teeth and couldn't afford a hotel room. Oddly specific, Marge. Uh, it's a shame no Psy cranes are installed in that area. We still have no idea what he was up to. This Lo Cha is getting more suspicious by the minute. Psst. I know Mr. Yang never wears his heart on his sleeve, but do you get the feeling he's a little... restless? Don't worry about me. It's just my mind keeps wandering back to those other law chas I mentioned. Not the greatest memories. Uh, how does he always hear us? Well, I'm afraid I have some other business to attend to. Let me know if you need anything. You know how to. Uh, thanks for the help, Miss Ching Yan. So. What did Law Cha get up to during those missing two hours? I think it's high time Detective March took the gloves off. Oh? And what do you have in mind, Detective? Fieldwork? That won't be necessary, Mr. Yang. As the angler once said, a true detective operates as effectively from their armchair as from the scene of the crime. Wait, I'm listening to a slaughter man. It's too early to start field work. We must wait until my deduction is complete. Then when we arrive at the scene, you'll see that the facts match my theory to a T. <laughs> well, uh, seeing as you're so confident, let's give your idea a try. Uh, yay! <laughs> Mr. Yang is the best! Mm -hmm. Ready? Uh, okay, here we go. <laughs> We need a fight for some reason. Yeah. Right. I'll be using the angler's deductive method. 
Reconstruct what happened from the bad guy's perspective. And now I'm Lodja. Yang Pong Spear. Yeah, I'm around. I'm thinking. Oh, almost forgot about that title page. He took it with him, so it must have had some significance. Uh, next up, I need to have a look at that map, Mr. Yang. Hmm. He must have gone through that gate up ahead. No way he would have stayed put in such a small area for two hours. But Miss Jingyan mentioned that gate is a military asset. It's locked. Uh, you think that would stop the likes of Luocha? What kind of Stellaron smuggler would he be if he couldn't get past a door? <laughs> you think a lock like this can stop a girl like me? I think I'm actually going insane. Oh, fine. I'll be me. You guys will have to imagine his lines instead. Such a rudimentary lock. Easy pickings. Even if Lodcha was able to unlock the door, <laughs> his villain friends must have been waiting on the other side to buy the Stellaron. He went to meet them. Where are you going? We're trying to trace. Let's wait and see. I really think he did that. Um. Now that I think about it, something's not right. Oh, yeah. Why I would love they rendezvous at a military airfield? Because, uh, Imagine checking the security well, cameras and someone's just doing this. To understand bad guy logic. <laughs> Hiding in plain sight, perhaps. Let's wait and see. <laughs> Imagine that there. <laughs> Hold on. This would have been too quick a route. And what's wrong with a quick route? Hmm? Ahem. What's wrong with a quick route? We're trying to uncover what Law Cha did during those two hours. But even if he repeated this route 20 times, it wouldn't have taken him that long. Ah, <sighs> true. He must have had a tougher journey than I imagined. Oh, come on, let's start over. Okay. <laughs> Your eyes are... Why is the monster talking now? Uh, you know, just a little dramatic effect. Repay. Uh, uh -huh. <laughs> Not that much damage. I'm gonna hold everyone back again. Get them. <laughs> Don't get them. Beings or devils. I'll crush them all. Nothing made them. You could have surrendered. <laughs> You chose the wrong Rules enemy. Are made to be broken. <laughs> you could have surrendered. <laughs> Um, what do they have this guy as? A 63. I don't think his attack is that high. Is not the end. The dead return! 
His ultimate didn't even kill. This is our chance. How am I meant to think that he has 2,000 damage as a base? What are all these enemies doing on the La Fu? Because... March, you don't have to add in combat scenes while you're figuring out where to take the story. <laughs> this is our chance. I'm scared. Stay put. Get them. Much better. You admit this crime? Okay, it has 2,000 healing, not attack. Let's go. Yeah. I learn. Monster layers in black market spaces. Uh, I doubt the law foo has any of that. At least, I doubt things of that nature existed before the Ambrosial Arbor's resurrection. Uh, is it really so far-fetched? We're already assuming that Luocha came here to sell the Stellaron to a bunch of cutthroats. May as well throw in some monsters here and there. The Angler is both a detective and a fighter. Anyway, it's not like we're gonna be able to conjure up exactly what Luocha ran into. Why not use our own interpretation to bridge the gap? Hmm. I suppose that makes some kind of sense. I, uh... I try to go with the flow. I didn't expect this place to be so treacherous. I'll need to be on my guard going forward. I wonder, just who is the buyer interested? The buyer is waiting there. Time to head over. Plausible. Looking at the map, this place is well hidden. Ah, uh, they wouldn't have met up at the dock. Ah, uh, they wouldn't... Stop right there. State your business. Seriously? Uh, no, that's Guar, the Tea Society's... Isn't Guar a type of tea? That's right. He's a member of the Tea Society, so naturally he chose a type of tea as his alias. Hey, I'm talking to you. What's your business here? Can you tell him to be less aggressive? Uh, oh, sure. Excuse me, sir. May I ask whether you... Never mind. I have a delivery for your boss. I need to give it to him in person. If you could let him know I'm here. Delivery? Ah, yes, the delivery. The boss is waiting for you. I wonder if Locha has something prepared for this moment. Oh. The title clip. Trying to persuade tend to be an officer of the living What? That's the code. So you're the one. Wait here a moment. I'll call the boss right away. Take your time. Guar takes the page and goes to find the boss. Before long, Luocha sees an imposing figure walking towards him. Boss, this is the one. He brought the delivery. I'll be the judge of that. Excuse me, what? Pom pom? No, I couldn't think of anyone else to be Mr. Yang's boss. This well, yeah. is our boss, Startaro Bubble. Let's see this delivery and make it snappy. So what? This is the Tea Society, remember? Not before I see the money. I'm sure you understand the rules of such a transaction. Save it. Show us the goods first. Easy now. The item in question is extremely dangerous. It's understandable that our friend here wants to take extra precautions. 
Pom Pom stand sure even. Pom Pom is the best casting choice for a gang boss. Mm -hmm. It, it kind of works, right? Who are? Give him the money. Happy now? Ready to hand it over? Be careful. Dangerous is an understatement with this item. I'll take my leave. Right. Yes, you will. Permanently. Puar, get rid of him. Oh, what the heck? It's all going so swimmingly. Selling a dangerous item to me makes you my accomplice. And I've got too many of those. To keep our little secret safe, I'm afraid I need to take special measures. When it comes to minor details, March can be very logical. As for the rest of the story, you can hear him laughing. Speaking of which, when did I turn into an aromaton? That's Puar's little secret. He transforms what? into an aromaton in dire situations. I. Okay. Okay. Huh. And there I was thinking you gangsters still had some decorum. No. You're gonna basically be your daddy, Jerry. Don't get anyway. complacent. Like. Rules are made to be broken. By the order of the execute, the Mara struck. Eternal sleep. The dead return. Just a scratch. Mm -hmm. It's time. Let's make it happen. You can't hurt me. You chose the wrong enemy. Receive divinity. Much better. Repay. Just a scratch. <laughs> Do you admit this? Let's go. Yeah. Rules are made to be broken. I'll see you off. <laughs> the dead return. What is he, Brooklyn? It's time. By the order of the Ten Lords, execute the Marastra. Fights like these don't go unnoticed in Exalting Sanctum. Cloud Knights could show up at any minute. And so Locha has to make a break for it. But where to? Wait, what? Uh... Okay. Halt! Who goes there? Uh-oh. His only escape is... Climb aboard, Locha. Time to get out of here. So Locha hopped on a star skip and fled with the help of his accomplice. So, who was piloting the... Uh, I'm not sure either. The pilot didn't show themselves, so uh, let's just assume it was her. Okay. No one gets left out of my stories. March, as much as I enjoyed, for example, if Law Cha took flight from the dock, how could he appear in Psycrane footage two hours later? Also, the dock is a military installation. The Cloud Knights would be on the scene at the slightest disturbance. How did so many monsters show up without warning? Last but not least, 
Even if Lo Cha did encounter all of the troubles you describe, it wouldn't have taken him two hours to escape. Oh, you're right, Mr. Yang. I guess I can't compete with the angler just yet. You know what? Time for some field work. Maybe the answers to our questions are waiting for us at the scene. That might be the best approach. Let's go. Mm. Man, time has flown by. Excuse me, officer. We're looking for someone. <sighs> he's got blonde hair, and judging by the way he's dressed, I'd say he was an out traveler with blonde hair. He saved our life. Since when did we start sharing a life? Back in. We're not rehearsing. Back and forth. Uh, excuse me, gentlemen. Would this blonde hair life saving forth. outworlder bear any resemblance to our suspect here? Oh, that's him! Mr. Locha, he rescued both of us. Can I ask when this rescue occurred? It was the day before the. We were planning to thank him properly, but in the aftermath of the Arbor incident, we never had the time. Are you two. Oh, the people in dark clothing? What's with. Dark clothing? Oh, I know what you're talking about. What a pair of clowns we are. Dark clothing. <laughs> we fell into a ditch. Wait, what? There we were, looking for a spot to practice our new routine. We found a place, eventually. A little dilapidated, but nice and quiet. <sighs> Shame about the giant ditch. <sighs> I lost my footing and slipped right in. My associate here, Forth, yelled after me, Don't panic! Forth's got your back! Two seconds later, he landed on my back. <laughs> Unfortunately, the ditch was connected to a sewer outlet. We were covered head to toe in... Anyway, I assume that's why you thought we had dark clothing on. A dignified story, I'm sure you'll agree. Ugh, no wonder Yin Shu said she had to cover her nose. Mm -hmm. Anyway, thankfully Mr. Lorcha was passing by and dragged us back to dry land. It took all his strength, I'll wager. And that's why he was gone for two hours. A thousand, A thousand thanks, thanks, kind stranger. stranger. Without your bravery, we'd never have gotten out of that ditch alive. <laughs> no, sir. That if you ever need anything, and it's within our power to help, you can... Even it's beyond our power to help. That's too kind of you. It was nothing, really. <laughs> Nonsense! You went out of your way to... Don't worry about it. You should head back home now. Take care. No! We can't thank you enough! Oh, one moment, both of you. That sewage could well contain harmful compounds. I'm something of a doctor. Let me give you a prescription. Make sure to use the medicine and get some good rest. There you go. I don't know what to say. Uh, sorry to trouble you. <laughs> uh, we'll take our leave now. Watch your step. Wouldn't want to find ourselves in another ditch now, would we? Yeah, Here. That's the prescription he gave us. Okay. Paper flower? It's beautiful. Did Luocha make this? That's right. He wrote down the prescription and folded it into shape. <laughs> A man of romantic sensibilities, one might say. The paper looks familiar. Can I open it? Ah, uh, yes. It's the, it's the page. We showed it to the pharmacy. <laughs> We were planning on handing it over to the Realm Keeping Commission. We suspect it's probably our best chance of tracing him. We can take it off you. We'll let you know when we find him. Well, that's, uh... Let me see. Mm -hmm. uh, of course! The back of the book is page. It? It's the title page of oh, the Angler the Mysteries. Page. The prescription's on this side, but on the back there's... Huh? So that's what this is all about? 
Take on a look back. yourself. To the next reader, the killer is Chen Chen, the nephew of Chen Chong, Chen Business in the Dashwood Bugs. The immortal spoiler. See it. The immortal spoiler? Ugh, some people just want to watch the world burn. I'm starting to think the Law Chow we envision doesn't square with a real one. Would a villain do a good deed like this? Oh, so he paid for the book and tore off the title page to protect people from the spoiler. He must be a fan of this book too. I knew Angler Mystery fans couldn't be bad. Nice. Lachar's paper flower. Into the desolate. A perfect detective. Well, not so perfect, obviously. Next mission, two more to go. Oh. Ah, <laughs> I'm tired of fixing other relevant reporting. <laughs> We're still doing that mission. And it's into it. Um, meet with Stargazer. Nice. Let's try this person real quick. You could have surrendered. There we are. Reach the end of the story in your own way. <sighs> Looks like there's smoke rising in the distance. Miss Chi Kue sent us a psi crane. See if you can get an aerial visual. This is an emergency. We need to find where the star skip crashed as soon as possible. Um. Well, I think that's perfect. We found it. Looks like the pilot isn't inside. If they escaped before it came down, they should still be nearby. Here, maybe? Yes. <laughs> There. That must be who Miss Shikwe asked us to save. We need to hurry. Those abominations have trapped her. Be careful. Um Where's the elevator? Ah, uh, there it is. Speak, not haste. They didn't discover me, they didn't discover me, they didn't discover me, they didn't discover me. Bye bye. There we are. Let's go down. And it just ran out to it. Tell them Ching Ni is in trouble. Don't worry, Miss Ching Ni. <laughs> you can't hurt me. Do you admit this crime? They did no damage to this person. 
spirit never By dies. The order of the Ten Lords. Execute the Marastruck! This is our chance. Beings or devils? I'll crush them all! Rules are made to be broken. Okay, and this. Um, you could have surrendered. Stay the course. Real quick, die. I'm gonna hold you. You can't yeah. hurt me. No, you missed the Marstruck. Perfect all. There are too many monsters. Let's hold out for a little longer. The cloud. Just run! These monsters can't get up here anytime soon. No can do, Miss Chingni. We're not abandoning you. We can take this. Easy. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. But I could. You two have held out long enough. Help is at hand. Look at that! Cloud Knight, formation! Prepare to engage! Hold on, King Me. We're coming to get you! By the order of the Ten Lords, you're not letting me do nothing. You could have surrendered. Spirit never dies. The wind is right. From the blow. Give me strength. I can take it. Rules are made to be broken. I'm scared. Stay put. Protect me. Protect me. There we go. No one misses the Marstruck. Execute the Marstruck. You could have surrendered. Stay the course. I'm going to hold everyone back again. Gotcha. You can't hurt me. Beings or devils. I'll crush them all. There we are. You could have surrendered. So many different attacks that are just happen. As easy as that. Gale force. The wind is rising. Bolt. Oh no, wrong one. Oh well. Yeah. I'm scared. Stay put. Yeah. It's time. No one missed it for the Marastruck. Execute the Marastruck! As easy as that. Oh yeah, there we are. All done. I didn't know the Helm Master of the Skyfaring Commission dealt with situations like this in person. Indeed. I should be reviewing files in the Palace of Astrum. However, Ching Ni decided to put herself in danger and trouble our esteemed guests with her safety. As her mother, I couldn't sit idly by. Yes. Ching Ni, have you thanked your benefactors yet? Thank you, benefactors. No need, Miss Ching Ni. It was nothing. 
movement. You Astral Express Trailblazers have outstanding manners, but your allegories are a little odd. It was because of both of you that Ching Ni escaped unscathed. Words cannot yes. express my gratitude. In yes, fact, Saga. by way of thanks, I'd like to invite you to the Palace of Astrum for tea. It is about time yeah. we knew each other better. The feeling is mutual, Lady Yukong. We would be honored. Then, for now, I will excuse myself. Ching Ni's irresponsible actions caused much trouble for the two of you. Allow me to apologize once again on her behalf. Uh -huh. <sighs> you always do this, Mother. Scold me before figuring out what actually happened. It was a dire situation. I was the only one who could... You promised me, Ching Ni. We shall discuss this when we return. Uh, may I ask the age of these Please two excuse people? Excuse us, benefactors. I look forward to our meeting. I wonder. I didn't know Yu Kong had that side to her. You have a unique way of putting things. Yes. But you're not wrong. Appearances seemingly tell us little about the lives of the Sienjo's leaders, no matter how long those lives may have been. Yu Kong's inner worries and concerns came to the surface in the presence of her daughter. Only then was it clear that she, too, is somebody's mother. Yes. After all, I know what it's like to worry over a kid's homework and whether their lunch is healthy enough. But there's something I don't understand. Yes, Ching Yi piloted a star skiff without permission and put herself in danger, but she meant well. Nevertheless, Yu Kong's reaction suggests that there was something more. Let's... Anyway, let's head over to the Palace of Astrum. Best not to keep Yu Kong waiting. To the palace! Uh, let's avoid sudden exclamations like that. Remember, this is no field trip. We're having tea with the Helm Master of the Skyfaring Commission. We'll need to act with diplomatic decorum. Okay. All right. Let's head out before it gets late. As I said, to the palace. It's getting late. Whoa. Where to now? Lag spike. I don't know, 590 frames dropped this entire stream so far. Why won't you listen to me? Because it's my life! Um. Okay, I don't think we should squabble in family matters, to be honest. You know I have the talent to make it. I can become the Lafu's best pilot, just like you were. Talent? You'd be dead if it weren't for those two travelers. Do you think stealing a star skip and taking to the skies is a show of talent? What about being trapped by abominations? Did you at any moment think about what I would feel if something happened to you? Do you know how many people dream of a relaxing desk job at the Skyfaring Commission? You promised me to work responsibly in your post. Not only have you broken the Skyfaring Commission's regulations, you've broken your promise to me. I already told you, I had no choice. I want to help you and the Skyfaring Commission, not sit at my desk dealing with never-ending papers. That job doesn't suit me. Mm. I got the highest grade in the fighter pilot test. They all said I was a genius like you, like mother, like daughter. They were all jealous of me. But no one even knew I had to take the test behind your back. You would never have allowed me to go if I told you about it. Behind my back? Do you really think you could have walked into the test and sat in the cockpit if I hadn't given my permission behind the scenes? As for genius, don't mention that word to me again. Why do you insist on becoming a pilot? <sighs> don't understand. And I don't understand why you don't understand. Why can anyone in the world become a fighter pilot except the Helm Master's daughter? 
Don't you realize how ridiculous that is? You may not want to fly anymore, but don't trap me down here with you. Endless bubbles. Tingni, where are you going? Shall we go or shall we talk? I'm sorry you had to witness this. Apologies, Madam Yukong. We should have given you some time. On the contrary, I apologize for allowing my own personal matters to encroach on your time. We don't I'm... intend to pry into private business, Helmmaster Yukong. But if there's anything we can help with, please don't hesitate to ask. Family issues, I'm afraid. You probably heard a thing or two just now. Despite mm -hmm. my earnest wish that she continue in her post, Ching Ni is fixated on becoming a fighter pilot. I may seem overpairing, but the situation she gets herself into sent a shiver up my tail. It's funny, isn't it? I've seen every disaster imaginable, from the Abundance Axis to a living planet. But I thought I'd forgotten what fear was. But when I fought alongside you, I realized there are still things that can terrify me. I'm sorry. Talking about such vexing matters is unbecoming in front of guests. I invited you here to gain a better understanding of the Express. Not bore you with these trivialities. Oh, that's okay. I prepared refreshments for you. Please, you must try this excellent whale tide spring. Sure thing. Please accept these gifts as thanks for saving my daughter. I had heard that the Nameless had traversed the Starry Sea, but I wasn't prepared for how much I could learn from you. Well, I'd heard from members of the Skyfaring Commission that you were a top-tier pilot, Madam Yukong, and an ace among the Cloud Knights. Now that I've seen you in action, I know the rumors were true. I hope to witness your flying ability for myself one day. We'll head off now. The commission must be busy. I look forward to our next meeting, Madam Yukong. Yes, <laughs> On my flying ability, I'm afraid I'll have to disappoint you, Mr. Yang. The sky no longer suits me. Longevity. <laughs> what? So, see. Okay. That is totally nice. You too, please wait. <sighs> Thank you for saving me, benefactors. And I'm sorry you had to witness all that. So you've experienced it yourself, benefactor. That's great. I mean, I'm happy I finally found someone who can understand me. Technically, I met my biological mother, like, uh, an hour ago. <laughs> so, kind of, I guess? But I've had the hairpin ceremony. I'm an adult now. I have the right to pursue my dreams. Mom still insists on sheltering me under her wing, as if I can't even stay alive without her. <clears throat> Uh, Miss Chingni, these are family matters. I'm not sure it's my place to comment. However, in my personal experience... Yeah, personal experience? Oh yeah, you did mention something. Becoming a parent often means we become obstinate. To erode a rock, 
One must be patient and persistent, like water. What I mean to say is, instead of trying to prove yourself suddenly, perhaps you could demonstrate your ability to look after yourself methodically over time. Don't you think, Miss Chingy? Right, I'm just proud of myself. I don't know what's... My mom is actually a reasonable person. But she gets unreasonable as soon as I mention flying. She hid my Starskip toys. Dragged me away from the port when I stayed behind to count ships. Forced me to study for ages. I did everything I could to work my way into the Skyfaring Commission. But she used her authority to assign me a desk job. <sighs> Every time I walk along Starwatcher Avenue and look up at those ships flying freely across the sky, I feel empty inside. <sighs> Same reaction, sir. <laughs> Speaking of empty inside, so... How were mom's refreshments? Good? <sighs> I've been so angry today, I forgot to eat anything. <laughs> How about this? My mom thanked you guys with refreshments, so I should do the same. Let me take you around Starskip Haven. We can try Ooh. the most authentic snack on the Lafu. Ooh. That sounds good. Say that again. Okay. Why is there so many depressing things? Okay, I got something for talking with someone. Vending machine. <laughs> We're here. The thing about the most authentic snack on the Cien de la Fu is it's a drink and it's inside this vending machine. I'm sorry. I'm afraid I don't have the money for anything fancy here. Mung bean soda. One can each. This thing has a bit of a unique flavor, but I love it. Let me try. Hmm. A nostalgic experience. Oh. Is there a drink like this where you're from? No, no. This reminds me of when I first boarded the Express and forced myself to drink Himiko's coffee and how my taste buds never fully recovered. <laughs> roasted, um, I can't swear. I can't swear. I roasted the the living everything out of this. So how is it? <laughs> Bearable? It's... Whoa! <laughs> I've never met a traveler who could down a mung bean soda like that. I have to say something nice. I have to say something nice right after well just roasted her. But I guess not everyone can accept what I like. Just like flying. Well, don't force yourself. Let's go somewhere else. Ooh, I know a really great place in Starskip Haven to Starskip Watch. Okay. Hmm. Uh, I'm now your mother. Listen to me, you little. I'm not. Can't swear. 
You know, there are a lot of mung bean soda moments in life. Whoa. If you don't try, you won't know. Unique experiences are often a product of risky choices. <laughs> Tell that to my mom. Her number one life lesson is you can't turn back once you enter the sky. Pilots are always dancing with death. I know she's right. I know being a fighter pilot is an exhausting and dangerous job. But I still want to fly among the stars. To fight for the Sienjo Alliance across the vast galaxy. Why are you so dedicated to that idea, Miss Chingney? Have you heard of the Foxy and Birth Fate tradition? Soon after a child is born, we surround them with items that represent future destinies. If the child reaches for a Jade Abacus, then they'll grow up to be a Diviner. If they reach for a sword, then they'll grow up to be a famous warrior. And if they reach for a toy star skiff, they became a toy salesman. <laughs> That's right. Mom reached for the star skiff and showed a natural talent for flying. General Jing Yuan recruited her to the Cloud Knights as soon as she was old enough. That's how she became a fighter pilot. Later, she achieved miracles. One time, she destroyed three beast ships in a hail of barissant anti-aircraft fire. Like an arrow tearing through a thunderstorm. She also holds the Skyfaring Commission records for speed and enemy vessels destroyed. Ooh. I'm proud to be Madame Nupong's daughter. I wanted to become a legend like her for as long as I can remember. I can imagine. A parent is often a child's first hero, and their image can influence their whole life. <sighs> She never told me any of those stories herself. And she hasn't piloted a star skiff since the third Denizens of Abundance War. She doesn't even bring up her military achievements. I used to watch her fly when I was young. <laughs> then one time, I stole a star skiff and I tried all kinds of difficult maneuvers. Turns out I was as talented as she was. Not only did I survive the flight, my landing was perfect. I remember feeling so happy when they took me to see my mom. There I was boasting about the flight, expecting her to laugh, pat my head, say that's my girl, or something. But boy, I've never seen her so scary. <laughs> I admit, I deserve to be punished. You can't let a kid get away with stealing a star skiff. But my mom was angry about more than that. She was angry because I viewed her as a role model. Because I had the same talent as her. I don't understand it. Parents never want their children to be in danger. I think I can understand, Madam Yukong. But flying is the only thing I want to do. I've already touched the sky. It's mom's secretary, Miss Sequay. She just sent me a message. Mom lost one of her trinkets in Stargazer Navalio when she came to save me. Miss Sequay suggested I find the trinket and return it to mom. Said it might help me get back in her good book. In Stargazer Navalia? Hmm. Let's go with you and have a look. Is it really okay to bother you two again? It's fine. Indeed. <laughs> You're too kind, benefactors. I'll treat you to something better than mung bean soda next time. But I enjoyed it. Wait, can I actually buy some mung? I bet we can use that later. Oh, that also makes sense to her ability. And how she says speed, not haste. It's like... Mom being excited to be sad. It actually was something. Nice. Very, very nice. Excuse me, what are those chest things I saw? Um. Oh, 
on them. Speak, not haste. <sighs> the fight with the abominations was pretty chaotic. I think Mom's trinket would have dropped around here. Do you know what it looks like, Miss? <sighs> Let me think. It should be a little square thing. She's usually got something like that on her. This is your area of expertise. <laughs> your powers of perception are impressive. That's all. I think you're the right person for the job. So a square little trinket. Does she really have something on her like that? I don't really see it. It could be like that. But her hair would be down then. <sighs> it's been so long. Okay. Oh, enemies. What a nice thing to see. With that. Not now. Oh. Well, this is too big for a trinket. I think I can identify it. A Devastator Glaive? Is this from the battle? There were a lot of Cloud Knights. Come on, are you kidding? It's a trinket, remember? You think my mom would carry this with her? Hmm. It's a beautiful vase, though. What an intricate pattern. Isn't that the Divine Beast fortune pattern? You're so smart, Mr. Yang. Well, I only recently found out about it. Oh. A bird cage. Huh. That reminds me. Have you guys heard of the birds that live in the Everhunt Plains? They have beautiful feathers, but you can't domesticate them. They don't live long if you lock them in a cage. Makes sense. How could a bird that's known the sky live in a cage? Then it pops out somewhere. Tell me where. Found something. <laughs> that kind of looks like a. Well, yeah. Mom always carries this trinket around with her, but I never realized there was something inside. Is this the hunt crust? <sighs> this is what pilots hang in their starskip cockpits for good luck. It must be very close to Helm Master Yukong's heart. Let's head back, Miss Chingni. I think you should return this trinket in person. This is an opportunity for the two of you to talk. It's from a dead friend or family member. That's my guess. Uh, not yet. I want to go back later. If you want us to help you persuade your mother, I'm afraid that could be difficult. <sighs> No, you misunderstand. I just want to know what she's thinking. What turned an ace pilot, someone who loved to fly, into someone like her? She had a child. My mom clearly misses her flying days. Otherwise, she wouldn't keep this on her person. But she doesn't fly anymore and refuses to let me become a fighter pilot. Maybe we can ask some people who might know the truth. 
If the Helmmaster herself is reluctant to talk about it, then the Sky Fair... He promoted Helmmaster Yukong himself. He probably knows more about her past than anyone. General Jin Yuen? Are you sure it's okay to go straight to him? Oh, <laughs> right. You're the General's guests. Even so, this is... <laughs> no problem. If we can get to the bottom of why Helmmaster Yukong no longer flies, we might be able to find out why she doesn't want you to be a fighter pilot. We can't help you too directly, but an indirect conversation like this might give us a clue on how to convince your mother. <laughs> yes, Lee. <laughs> In that case, thank you so much, benefactors. I'll head back to Starskip Haven. I'm not ready to... Another busy day ahead of us? Speak, not haste. Would you like me to relay your message? Mr. Yang, and you? It's nothing urgent. We were... Yu Kong? Hmm. I heard an office worker from the Skyfaring Commission flew a star skiff to assist in the present crisis, but ran into trouble herself. She was only saved thanks to a couple of travelers. The seat of divine foresight heard that Yu Kong seldom seen, but often feared temper was on display. I believe the two of you were caught between mother and daughter. We heard that Helmmaster Yukong was an out... Yukong herself is best placed to answer such questions. But naturally, you are here because you fear that Helmmaster Yukong would decline to answer. If you wish to dispel Miss Ching-Ni's curiosity, perhaps we can take a small step back from the topic at hand. What do you wish to know about Yukong? This is a divine object from the Rainbow Arbiter. Where did you find This object has been stored inside Helmmaster Yukong's personal tr She thought it might be a way to find out more about Yukong's past and why she no longer flies. This object is no ordinary trinket. It has borne witness to blood and tears. I'm sure you're both familiar with the Sienjo's long galactic hunt. But have you heard of the denizens of Abundance Wars? As the Sienjo has continued to cleanse the universe of immortal abominations, so too has the Abundance Axis succeeded in breaching our defensive lines. They pushed the Sienjo to the brink of disaster. Thirty years ago, the Xianzhou Yao Qing and Fang Hu were besieged by our enemies. Even in the long history of warfare between the Xianzhou Alliance and the denizens of abundance, that air battle was one of the most tragic. We were greatly outnumbered by the abominations of abundance. Almost a million fighter pilots fought in the bitter battle. Those who survived numbered no more than a hundred thousand. Okay. Had the Rainbow Arbiter not descended and destroyed the enemy's assault with their sky-shattering Lux Arrow. Who's to say whether the Law Fu would still be here today? Wow. Such divine so objects much lore. were forged from the embers that the Arbiter's divine arrow left behind. For the survivors. These relics contain the blood of their comrades, the ashes of their enemies, and the dust of their memories. 
Yu Kong is a survivor of that war. Her best friend, Tsai, perished on the battlefield. I don't have any other questions. I do not wish to speculate on the reason behind Helmmaster Yu Kong's reluctance to fly. Nor do I want to open up old wounds. However, it is difficult to discard one's past. Yu Kong and Sai trusted each other with their lives. The Helmmaster will have strong memories of that time. Perhaps it is not my place to say. But I believe Ching Ni has the right to know about the past. As the past is starting to affect her future. Thank you, General. Thank you, General. We apologize for taking up your time with such triviality. Mr. Yang, you jest. How can harmony between parent and child constitute a triviality? <sighs> if you ask me. The mountains of documents and the seat of divine foresight are the only <laughs> triviality around here. Okay. <laughs> we'll take our leave. Let's go. We should head to Starskiff Haven and find Ching Yi. Let's go. Oh, you're here. My mom isn't in a great mood. She went. Mm hmm. Probably because of me. You two are very similar. <laughs> well, we do both like to take a walk after a fight. The only difference is that I come to this side of Starskiff Haven and she heads to the other. That way, we don't bump into each other. <laughs> really? I think it's silly. Anyway, did you find anything out from General Jing? Did Helmmaster Yukong never bring this up with you? <sighs> I was always curious about her past, but she either dodged my questions or pretended not. In the end, I realized she probably experienced something that left a scar. A scar that... Indeed. That's probably why Yukong was never willing to fly again after the battle, and why she forbids you from flying. So she doesn't want me to fly because she remembers the pain of losing her friend. And she thinks that my talent makes it more likely that she'll lose me in the same way? I can't guarantee that's what she's thinking, Miss Chingy. You should talk with her yourself. Hmm. You're right, Mr. Yang. But I still have something else to check first. This past that General Jing Yuan mentioned is probably archived in the Palace of Astrum. Uh, I, I remember watching her handle a document with great care before she filed it away. It looked like a diary. Do you still remember where it was filed? Uh, vaguely, but there are so many files stored in the Skyfaring Commission. Could I ask you benefactors to look for it with me? Sure thing. Uh, a couple of outworlders going through Skyfaring Commission files isn't a good look. Uh, of course. Aww. You're right. Sorry. I wanted to delve in the secrets and then listen. I love work. I love overtime. 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 
Um, uh, let's leave her alone. Exactly what I was thinking. It seems like this device is handling some important... Yo, uh, can I help you? Uh, I, I know what it looks like, but I'm using Celestial Jade to improve the algorithm. Uh, uh, sorry. Uh. Mr. Yang Ming is a stickler for rules. I don't want to annoy him. I don't know. And then this computer. We can use this one. Okay. Hmm. Let me see. Hmm. It should be here. Miss Cheney, I don't think the two of us should be reading your mother's diary. It should be fine. This is from decades ago. For you travelers, that's more than half a lifespan. Uh, no, I still think I shouldn't read it. You stay here with Miss Cheney. <sighs> fine. Is it really that big of a deal? I'm sure they're just her notes on what. <sighs> I understand. I can tell Mr. Yang is a principled person. There are some lines he won't cross. Let's read it together. Maybe her diary holds the key to all of this. Oh my gosh, this is long as <laughs> that. Such a tragic story. What is the meaning of this? The Helm Master's daughter bringing Outworlders in to sneak around? You said the other quest was sad. This one's even sadder. What do you have in your hands? Let me see. Madame Yukong's diary? A nerve. How dare you read Madame Yukong's personal diary? And with her daughter, too. By the Arbiter, you two are in for a... Mr. Yang Min, please, calm down. I see. Ching Ni, I know Madame Yukong's position on you becoming a pilot is tough for you to accept, but she has her own concerns. Your yeah. star is like that, it's just sad. Ming, but now, compared to becoming a fighter pilot, I'm more interested in knowing what my mom went through. I want to know what happened, how she went from ace pilot to helm master. <sighs> I've been here for a long time, Ching Ni. If there's something you wish to know, just ask. But don't go rummaging around, that's a bad habit.
Ooh. No, this isn't something I should... Re yes. This divine object, if I remember correctly, it's the one Madame Yukong always carries with her. I heard the war that forged this object was only won thanks to the Rainbow Arbiter's blessing. If Mom still longs for the sky, then why did... Perhaps Tsai's passing was too much for her. You shouldn't be asking me about this. Ask your mother. Miss Tsai, I remember her. She was an ace gunner. Many people wanted to be her flight partner. Her husband, Mr. Guan Yuan, was a pilot. They manned the same skiff and were the envy of many. But when it came to pilots, your mother was the best match for her. They flew together all the time. Even Mr. Guan Yuan couldn't match their numbers. Well, after he passed away in battle, Tsai rarely teamed up with anyone except your mother. It was tragic when Sayi died soon after. That's the life of a pilot. No one knows which flight will be their last. Sayi's death was a big blow to Madame Yukong. After the battle, she refused to turn in Sayi's possessions as per regulations. She kept them locked away. Ooh. Occasionally taking them out to admire. Oh, I, as her subordinate, surely I should be concerned with her mental well-being. If Madame Yukong is unhappy, how can I be happy? I mean to say, how can I be happy in my duties to her? Where are Miss Tsai's possessions stored? Thanks for telling us all that. You're welcome. I know this is important to you. I suppose you're going to go through Madame Yukong's office desk next. I can understand your position, Ching Yi. I'll take my leave and pretend I didn't see anything. After all, it's an unwritten rule that subordinates should be absent when their superior's privacy is exposed. <laughs> Please don't tell your mother that you saw me today. <laughs> Got Mouth it. Mouth the shot. Hurry, Madam Yukong will be back soon. Oh, I can see this happening. I'm here. I'm already here. You're dead. Oh, what draws? What draw? What what draws are you even talking about? There is nothing. Hmm. Nice. What draws? There is nothing here. Uh, my mom keeps lots of stuff in her desk. Let's have a look. Uh, like what? Like, where? Where can it be possibly stored? Well, you support. Yeah, it could probably be you. This is the simplest thing. That's the selling point of this desk. Super simplistic design with super spacious hidden compartments. Lots of office staff use this desk. Uh, there are hidden compartments on the left, right and under the desktop which there one is... should we check first oh i see uh, under Got the it. desktop hmm. this looks similar to mom So, 
I was adopted in this Miss Sai was my real mother. You're I adopted. suppose I've always had a feeling. But now I know the truth. <laughs> I feel like I'm dreaming. Don't let that child touch the sky. Is this why mom refuses to let me become a fighter pilot? Hello? For a pilot, the most important oath before departure is the promise to bring your comrade back. Mom didn't manage to bring her comrade back. So she vowed to prevent me from setting out. Not only am I her daughter, I'm also her final promise to Tsai. I never thought my dream would put mom in such a difficult situation. I feel a lot closer to mom after reading this diary. Even if we're not connected by blood. I understand her a lot more now. <sighs> hmm. Can you come with me one more time? I want to have a proper chat with mom. Yes. Thank you. Okay, um... We will have to leave it here. I won't be able to do this. I'm not here here You're after this mission. Done. Did it go smooth? <laughs> I see. Let's find Helmmaster Yukong. We'll accompany you. We're here to help, but she and I really shouldn't interject when you're conversing with your mother. Hmm. It's okay. I understand. Just having you stand next to me is already a great help, benefactors. Was it, I was down, she usually goes to take in a view of the Jade Gate. She should still be there. Let's go find her. Um, I was expecting my cousin to join, but... So they also hold funerals. Huh. Um... I don't know... No spacious location. What is the art regulations again? If I make them both kind of looking at me. There we are. Did I not click? Damn it. Well, yeah, my cousin was supposed to be joining the stream today. <laughs> Well, I was expecting to. Oh, so bad. I don't know what you can. Oh. Mom? Obviously, I have a cousin. Who doesn't have a cousin? Why are Mr. Yang and they here, too? Miss. Ching Yi kindly agreed to show us around Star Skiff Haven. 
she mentioned she was trying to mend things between you, but was feeling shy about it. We volunteered to come with her. Thank you. I must apologize for the trouble my daughter has brought you. <sighs> Mom! All right, it's getting late. Let's talk once we're home. Actually, I want to talk to you about something right now. I want to become a fighter pilot, no matter what. <sighs> We've talked about this many times. No means no. Uh, but... Seems like Miss Chingney is a little hesitant. I thought Mr. Yang said we shouldn't interject. <laughs> it's clear that Yukong suffered greatly after that terrible war. Hmm. Doesn't seem like something to bring up. Ching Ni remembers that Yukong has all. Hmm. This divine object is a. T still, it doesn't. Ching Ni's birth mother. Sat still, it doesn't. Is that Sai's diary? How did you... I understand now. I'm sorry, Ching Ni. I cannot support your dream because... I made a promise to someone else. You don't expect to gain your forgiveness. I, I just hope you can understand my reason mom what are you talking about i'm your daughter <laughs> our bond is bigger than forgiveness and reason i'll listen to anything you have to say just like you i once longed for the sky i know what it feels like to fly through infinite space to be surrounded by the vast expanse of nothingness with unimaginable splendors looming in the distance to float like a single leaf in the fathomless stellar sea some called it loneliness but we called it freedom Sai was like that too we were friends since childhood we flew star skiffs everywhere, causing trouble until the knights caught us and dragged us before General Jingyuan. <laughs> we soon became the most elite fighter pilots of the Skyfaring Commission. It wasn't an easy life. You could even say it was a cruel one. You never knew if the friend next to you would make it back alive. Of course, the same could be said of yourself. But those are my best memories. I would strike out into the sky, repelling demons and upholding justice. The blood we shed bore witness to it all. The life of a Foxian is short and fleeting. Surely we should dedicate ourselves to such glorious aims. Oh, system space all clear today. Great That's weather for flying. So it's just perfect for a um, thumbnail. We're engaging the main Boris and fleet this time. Don't get too excited. Huh? Sounds like maternity leave knocked the wind out of your sails. Feeling rusty? Oh, shut it. I think you're just excited because you haven't flown with me for so long. Did you miss me? Of course I missed you. The galaxy felt smaller without you in my cockpit. Say, Sai, really didn't think you'd come back. Do you really like flying star skiffs that much? <laughs> you bet. Sure, it's exhausting, dangerous, low paid. <laughs> Plus, you only get back to the Lafu a few times a year. But given the choice, I'd always pick this. I guess I already touched the sky. Mind is mysterious. I've lived for more than 200 years. Forgotten nearly every conversation I've ever had. But I still remember us shooting the breeze that day. It's 
crystal clear. It was the last time I spoke to Tsai. <laughs> no way! Tsai? Hold on, Tsai. Tsai, I'm sorry. Open I'm your sorry. Eyes. Oh. Tsai. Thank you. You go. I've, I've had a good life. But please, don't let Jimmy walk the same path. Don't let her become a fighter pilot. Sai, she's your daughter. You'll be able to tell her yourself, do you hear? The rescue's almost here. Stay with me. Jing Ni is waiting for you. She lost Guang Yen. She can't afford to lose you, too. Wake up! Die! Die! Climbed out of the burning carcass of the star scale. I looked up into a clear sky, pure and seemingly unadorned by the atmosphere that arced far above us. It was the most beautiful sky I had ever seen. All I could feel was unbearable pain. I sunk to the ground and gazed up helplessly. In my dream. That was the day I died. Mom, this is the first time I've heard you talk about this. But I'm not a little girl anymore. The road of a fighter pilot is a cruel one. I know that now. But I won't hide from it. I'm not afraid to walk the same road as her. If my sacrifice can bring happiness to the citizens of the Sienjo, then I'm ready for it. You are so very similar to Tsai. The more outstanding you became over the years, the more fearful I turned. I've known for a long time you were ready, but I was not. No, the cruelty has never claimed victory. Me, Sai, your father, Guangyan. We were prepared for the worst when we enlisted. Do you know how we won that war? The war that took away Sai and the lives of hundreds of thousands of fighters. The Rainbow Arbiter's Define Arrow. Yes, the mighty blessing of the Rainbow Arbiter annihilated all abominations in a single strike. We had to pay with the blood of hundreds of thousands of soldiers just to halt their advance. If crushing our enemies was as easy as breathing for the Rainbow Arbiter, then what purpose did our sacrifices serve? Under the might of an eon, the sacrifices of ordinary creatures are but a joke. We are nothing. We mean nothing. Mom... But I never should have allowed my fears to compel me to make decisions for another person. <laughs> Even if that person is my daughter, I brazenly interfered with your choices. I am sorry. That is my failure as a mother. Mom, you don't need to apologize. Really. You don't need to. I'll take you to fill in the paperwork tomorrow. You'll start as ground crew, just like Tsai and I did. I believe that one day, you'll make an outstanding fighter pilot. Damn. Huh? Really? <laughs> Thank you, Mom. Thank you. Thank you.
<laughs> I was afraid of you following in my footsteps. And more afraid of you taking after Tsai. If this is your choice, then I'm willing to support you. Even if you live to regret it. Mom? I have one last request. Tell me. I want to... fly with you at least once. Oh, please say this ends in Mahal something. <laughs> I'm afraid I can't. I won't be flying anymore. But... why? Because... I already touched the sky. Okay. Well done. Is there a free cam mode? Oh, that would be so good if it is. Definitely have to leave it with this episode earlier. Yeah. Mm. Mm. This ain't a short stream. This is, well, my longest stream to date. Yeah. Well, I actually should end on this character. <laughs> Touch the star. Whoa! <sighs> Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. For the people watching, this ain't a short stream! This is the longest stream I have to date. Plus, if I'm up for another hour, I'll be still streaming when my big brother wakes up to get ready for work. <laughs> no, thank you. Um, so yeah. For the people watching on Twitch, thank you so much for watching to the end. Um, I had a great time interacting with all of you and playing this game. Even though we did have a very sad mission at the end. And to leave it on a very sad note. Sorry about that. But... We can complete the final mission and the other side mission that we just got next stream, and then we can do more main quests, hopefully. So, um, and for the people watching this back on YouTube, if you want to, you can join, uh, join us on the stream, so you can watch this all live, and you can interact, and even vote for the game. You can vote for the game even in, like, um, the comments down below, but... Well, yeah, if you do want to see a different game next month, or you want to vote for a game, just comment down below, I should be able to see it. And for the, also for the people watching back on YouTube, and the right here is my latest video, on the left here shall be the first video of this series, but be warm from 15 to 30. Um, my voice does get a bit glitchy, and, the, and all the sound is jump ahead. It is annoying, you can skip it, I don't really mind. And if you like more videos like this one, please click 
please leave a like and if you want to please consider subscribing and if you want to get notified for all my future uploads please click that bell notification i'll see you all next time